So today we're going to be checking out the best sort of nano quads with a camera and seeing how their footage compares and which one you should buy. We're first going to start off with this one. It's the biggest of the nano drones. I'm not sure if this would really classify as a nano drone because it's quite large, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to classify this as sort of a nano drone. So it does have, oh my gosh, mosquitoes everywhere. It does have a little camera on the front right here. This is the remote controller that it comes with. It has a battery that you put in the back and it can be taken out and prop guards, which is a nice addition. Most of these nano drones are not going to have prop guards. That's great. I think that's all I need to say. We're going to do. Let's now look at some of the test footage. I'm going to be flying it through here somehow, I guess. We're going to see if this works well. Um, and then we're going to come back at the end after testing all these. I'll show you which one we're going to do before flight footage. And at the end, we're going to see which one is the best. Let's go. That is the Protocol Dronium 1. Uh, really, really fun to fly, actually. I kind of like um, the bigger size when it gets down to the teeny tiny ones. It's difficult to fly out here. Um, but this is sort of like a real world review of how it works. Um, I have not seen the flight footage yet. Uh, I think it's gonna look pretty good. The quality on all of these nano drone cameras are not really great. Um, but we're gonna have to wait till we get back to the studio to test out but you get a first look at the footage and then compare if there's any differences between them. All right, now this next drone is sort of like the little brother, I guess you could say, to the Dronium one. I believe the actual name is like the, um, it doesn't say on this like the other one does, but it's basically a smaller version of the drone by the same company. I just broke the landing gear, it pops out there. Okay. This is by the same company, it's Protocol. Um, they make some awesome drones. I believe it's the exact same camera, so we're going to see if it's any different and then how it flies. I really like this sort of size of it, um, it looks awesome, let's just see how it flies. Alright, that is uh, awesome to fly. You can hear the actual sound of the propellers. I don't know what you would call it, but the sound that they make. Um, as they get smaller, the sound, the, I don't know, it goes higher. It's a higher pitch as the quad gets smaller, which kind of makes sense. Um, so it's awesome to see as we get down to the next two, final two we're testing for today. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that before. You could tell from the intro part what we're testing for. Um, these are awesome. Let's get even smaller. All right, so now I feel I should bring these two up at the same time, our final two. They are indeed, at the time of posting this video, the world's smallest drone with a camera. Um, they're actually very close to the world's smallest drone, but the actual world's smallest drone is just a little bit smaller. Um, but they tacked on the camera on these two. Um, why I'm showing you both is they look very similar and that is indeed you would be correct if you assume that because I'm pretty sure they are made by the same manufacturer. Uh, it, the only differences I can see other than this being all black and this having an orange and white shell is that the bottom case where the battery is, this has um, stuff, holes on the bottom for the battery to 
um, release heat and then nothing on the sides whereas this has a different sort of pattern of that otherwise I feel like these are going to be the exact same two different companies the first one that we're going to be testing is by Turn Labs just an unboxing of this um, awesome awesome packaging I love all of this but it is the one by Turn Labs we're going to see how this flies um, and then the second final drone that we're going to be testing is by Axis Drones um, got this a little while ago um, and did an unboxing of that and test footage inside but we're going to see how this flies outside because I have never flown either one of these nano drones outside. We're going to take this up, see how it does. Uh, a light breeze today, not too bad. One thing that I found interesting because these two look identical, everything basically is the same except this one came with a remote controller right here and then this one you have to pilot it with your iPhone. So those are two very big uh, distinctions between this one having to use your controller that comes with it and this one can be used with your iPhone. Let's see how those compare to the flight test right now starting out with one by turn -off. So um, these are very difficult to see when you're flying where it is, sometimes difficult. Great thing about it is super durable, thank god, because if this was not durable, as durable as it is, it would probably not be here anymore. But look, it still flies. Awesome drone. Uh, let's test out the competitor over here, the Axis drone, using our iPhone to pilot it. By the way, this is called the Axis Vidius drone, um, and the app is the. See right there, can you see that? So the app here is the Vidius drone. That's the title of the app, and then the little thing says the Arius. That's the company, I guess. Um, so if we open that up here, we tap Go Fly, and then here is the live FPV. So there's a couple of different functions. Um, I actually love this. You can either do this, which will, when you rotate your device, It'll change like where it's flying or just the standard. Right there, you have to tap this button. I found it. You have to tap up here on or off. And this is your control. So now if we test this, you have to see how it's flying right there. So that, that's how you pilot it. It's kind of awesome. Let's test out some test footage. Oh, one thing that I didn't uh, mention before is that with the other ones, none of them have this FPV system system I guess is that I guess that's what you call it but now I can fly all the way down there as long as we still have Wi-Fi from the drone that's what it is it's not Bluetooth it's Wi-Fi um, so as long as we still maintain that connection we're gonna have live FPV stuff which none of the other ones did I just had to go off of where I thought they would fly so this is really really awesome so far Axis Arius drone is winning even though it's basically the exact same drone as the other one in the uh little crash that we had just there, a prop came off. Great thing about these small ones is they literally just push on just like that. So they're not on there terribly secure, but um, they come with extra props in case you lose them. Otherwise, you know, it's really lightweight, so it's just fun. One kind of weird glitch is that I've just been flying this for um, maybe a minute at the most and this whole top piece right here and the battery are super hot I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this hot um, it's kind of fine to the touch but it's a little little just warm I'm not really sure why uh, most batteries don't get that hot just from running for a minute so maybe that's the way it's supposed to be I don't know FPV is pretty awesome though got a uh, hole it's a little weird, it seems like every time I crash this, um, I lose a prop or two props, and they're very difficult to find in this woods here because they're black. Good thing it came with extras. Last thing I noticed out here in the field before we go into the studio and check out the footage is that 
Um, this camera here is not... Anyways, this camera, the lens at least, is not wide enough to see like where you're flying. It's so just narrow that it's very easy to run into stuff. Um, so you can't really fly it terribly well using the FPV system. But it's still pretty awesome for a nano drone like this. It's very mosquito-y out here. Let's uh, go inside. Can't stand it anymore. So I just took a quick peek at all of the footage that we shot today um, on all of the different nano drone things and I'm going to have to say from looking at all of them it seems like they're all using probably the same camera because the dimensions are the same, the quality is basically the same, um, all of the things the file size is about the same for each of them. So yeah I'm going to say that uh, if you purchase one of these nano drones that is um, at this size and has a camera that looks like this it's probably going to have video um, very close to what this looks like it's kind of up to you uh, which one you think is better either the smaller size which this is quite a bit cheaper um, but then it also doesn't fly as long as well it's not as big not as easy to fly so yep all of these are really great you can't go wrong with either one of these they're all awesome drones there's there's not one that's just bad these are all really awesome they have their each individual strengths i guess um and you kind of just gotta choose which aspects of it you like the most so Thank you for watching.